Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. It is a big news day today, so no dawdling around for me. Let's get right into it, shall we? A tragic hit-and-run incident in Brooklyn, Maryland has left a four-year-old girl critically injured. The Anne Arundel County Police report that the accident happened at around 3.50 p.m. on Monday when the four-year-old child ran into the street and was struck by a 2024 Volkswagen Tiguan, which did flee the scene. Eyewitness accounts did enable the police to locate the vehicle and its 17-year-old Baltimore teen driver. No charges have been filed as of yet, as the investigation is continuing. In legal news, Anne Arundel County Circuit Court Judge Mark Crooks upheld a decision to grant a conservation variance for the village at Providence Point, letting the controversial project move forward for now. This ruling concludes a series of disputes dating back to 2010. The project, developed by National Lutheran Communities and Services, really faced significant opposition to environmental concerns, but has since been revised to align with community and environmental standards. The plan includes 350 apartments, health care suites, and a conservation easement to protect over 120 acres from any future development. Now, the Crab Creek Conservancy has said that they may appeal, but for that whole backstory, if you're not familiar, check out our post at ionanapolis.net. In aviation news, BW Airport CEO Ricky Smith announced plans to build a 200-room hotel within the terminal, a project reinitiated after the pandemic-induced delays. This development is part of the airport's future capital projects, and it is still pretty far off. Other plans for BWI include connecting the BNC terminals and a new tower and an airport lounge. Here's some huge sports news. Baltimore Orioles owner John Angelos is reportedly close to selling the team to billionaire David Rubenstein and Mark Arugetti for $1.725 billion. Yes, that is with a B dollars. The deal, still in its initial stages, involves the duo initially purchasing only 40% of the team with plans to acquire the remainder following the death of Peter Angelos. The sale would represent a major transition for the team, which has recently secured a lease to keep playing at Oriole Park at Camden Yards for up to 30 years. You want to stay tuned on this one for sure. Finally, in the art scene, the musical comedy Jimmy Buffett's Escape to Margaritaville is set to come to Annapolis and the Annapolis Summer Garden Theater this summer, and they're looking for talent. Do you have it? Auditions are scheduled at Anne Arundel County Community College in Cade 122, and they're going to happen on Tuesday, February 6th, from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., and once again on Saturday the 10th, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Up this weekend on the Local Business Spotlight, a great couple and an even greater business. We're talking with Matt and Bridget from Wildberry Farm and Market. And by now you know the drill. Please let your friends, neighbors, and colleagues all know about our daily news recap email. It's free. It comes to your inbox every night at 7 p.m. and will keep you up to speed on all of the top local news stories. And it's paywall free. And if you pass the word along and we get to the subscribers, I'm going to stop whining about it. So I'm going to drop a link right here in the show notes to get us on the way. Okay, let's put this puppy to bed with a quick thank you to you and also to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. So now you just need to hang tight because George Young from DCMDVA Weather is standing by with the only locally forecasted weather report you will find, and Bridget, also known as Beeper Buzz, is here with Annapolis After Dark. Anyhow, all that's coming up for you in just a minute, so stick around. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting Mac Medics in Severna Park or Lanham, where appointments are not necessary. Mac Medics is an Apple authorized service provider. Mac Medics services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries. 
and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. MacMedics is also an Apple authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit MacMedics in Severna Park or Latham for Apple authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call MacMedics at 410 757 MAX, which is 410 757 6227. It's 410 757 6227. Or visit them online at MacMedics.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, January 31st, last day of the first month of 2024, and it'll be a typical cold and gray late winter day, though we're likely to see plenty of sunshine to get the month of February started. Look for mostly cloudy skies today with highs in the mid-40s or so, with a very small chance of a scattered rain or snow shower this morning, to be followed by a return of sunshine tomorrow through the weekend, with highs Thursday and Friday in the upper 40s to mid-50s, ahead of low to mid-40s Saturday and Sunday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DC MDVA Weather on Facebook and X for updates throughout each day, along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info, so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. Freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. The music scene in Anne Arundel County is popping, and sometimes it's hard to sort through it all. From blues to pop, from funk to ska, Beeper Buzz has it all covered for you in this week's Annapolis After Dark. Good morning, Annapolis. Beeper Buzz here with your Annapolis After Dark weekend music highlights for Wednesday, January 31st through Sunday, February 4th. Yes, February. What happened? Anyways, go to the socials for Annapolis Streaming and Beeper Buzz and also both websites for the full schedule. We update the Facebook posts and all websites with changes and cancellations so you know before you go. AnnapolisStreaming.com, also AnnapolisMusic.us, and BeeperBuzz.com. Yes, that was a little hint of changes coming. Live music for today, Wednesday. The Corsicans will be at EDC in the MRE. You must be a member of the Eastport Democratic Club or a friend of a member to attend. It's a social club. You don't have to be a Democrat and you don't have to be from Eastport. Also in Annapolis, Irish traditional sessions with Peter Bryce and friends will be at Galway Bay on Maryland Avenue. Dana B is back tonight at Galliano's in Wall Chapel and Gambrels. Ben Heemstraw of Ben will be at Cooper's Tavern in Edgewater. This is a new spot for Wednesday. Also tonight, get to the point for Aaron Hawkins of Loose Ties. Troll Tribe Duo, which is Matt and Jason, will be at Mother's and Arnold just a short drive away. Thursday, Sparks and McCoy return to the Graduate Hotel in Annapolis in the Trophy Room. Noah Booz will be at Reynolds Tavern. Up in the Dina, this is a good one. 
Timmy and Eric of Timmy Mets Band will be a duo at the office. And under my other things to do, Bob Quinlan will be hosting open mic at Copper Creek. And also, there's an open mic at Vibe every week. And this week, it will be hosted by Brent Austin Dunn. Weekend music. It's time to bear the cold and freeze for a reason at the Polar Plunge at Sandy Point. In addition to the Plunge Maryland for Special Olympics Maryland, there's a free music festival on Friday and Saturday. It's called Plunge Fest and it happens every year. You do not have to plunge and you do not have to pay to get in to enjoy this event. It's free. Enjoy music and drinks in the nice and toasty, warm Ram's Head Lodge Tent. Friday, catch loose ties. And Saturday, catch DJ Matt DeGilio and Go Go Gadget again. Yay, I got to see them last year for the first time and they did not disappoint. Everyone was dancing and I can't wait to see them again. Friday night music. Start with happy hour at Ram's Head Tavern, downtown Annapolis with Chris Sachs. Pete Best will be at Pirates Cove in Galesville. Up in Severna Park, George Evans will be joined by lead guitarist Jay Spiegel to do a bunch of great grooves at Severna Park Tap House. Kevin Pollock and Doghouse Blue are back at Waterman's Tavern in Edgewater, one of my favorite spots. Ground Brent will be at Mother's in Arnold. Ben Heemstra of Ben and the B-Band will be at Firm in the Croft and Gambrels area. Mike Cure will be at Reynolds Tavern. Noel and Jeff will be downstairs at Middleton Tavern. Saturday, David Sparrow will be back at Blackwell Barn and Lodge in Gambrels. Sparks and McCoy will be up in the Dina at Rumor Meal. The National Bohemians are back at Brian Brew. Down the road, Meerkat Nation will be at Mother's and Arnold. Joey Fitz will be at Killarney House in Davidsonville. And just down the road, Chris Button will be at Santa Joe's in Galesville. Over on the shore, the Bards are having an album release party at Cult Classic with a special guest, Bard City. I went live with them last weekend and they were off the hook. Also on Saturday, Moose Jaw Bluegrass will be at Old Bowie Town Grill and end the night with Honey Soul rocking Stan and Joe's on West Street. Sunday Fun Day, the Drinker and the Scholar will be at Galway Bay. This is one of my favorites. Also on Sunday, Aaron Hawkins of Loose Ties will be at Killarney House in Davidsonville. And under my other things to do, open mic at Dark Horse Returns, hosted by Ben Heemstraw of Ben and the Bee Band. Remember, these are just the highlights. Find the full schedule of music for all of Annapolis and the surrounding areas on the Annapolis Streaming Facebook event. And on the websites, AnnapolisStreaming.com and BeeperBuzz.com, spelled B-E-E-P-R-B-U-Z-Z. Also, AnnapolisMusic.us. Add the websites to the homepage on your cell phone to make them an app. Then it's just two clicks to the music anytime. I'll see you out there. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming, and determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, we want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive. And it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. You've been listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.